Seabert, Tommy, and Aura have been invited to Africa by their old friend, Harry King. They have driven deep into the African bush. Now, as they sit around their campfire, Harry explains why they are there. Let me ask you a question. Have any of you heard of a unicorn? I have. It's a horse with a horn in the middle of its head. Yes, and you can have three wishes on it, because it's magic. Are unicorns real animals? Yes. No! I'm afraid Aura's right, Tommy. Well, why has everybody heard of them, then? Well, let me tell you how the mistake was made. Hundreds of years ago, when Europeans first traveled to Africa, they heard tales of a fabulous creature that looked like a horse with a long, spiraled horn in the middle of its forehead. But what had been seen was, in fact, two separate animals, both looking slightly like horses. Well, at least from a distance. But what were those animals? One was an antelope, a form of deer that's called an oryx. And that is a rare animal, especially today. It has two long horns and from a long way could be mistaken for a horse. What was the other one then? The other was our friend the rhino. A great big rhino? That doesn't look much like a horse to me. Or me. Maybe not, but remember, those people had not seen a rhino, only heard about them. And stories sometimes can get very exaggerated. And that brings me to the reason why we're here. A rhino. We're going to capture a rhino. Us? Capture a rhino? Why? Because of the unicorn's three wishes. You see, a lot of stupid people on this planet think that the horn of the unicorn, or as you know, the rhino, has some sort of magic ingredient. So rhinos are captured, killed, and their horns are cut off. But what do people want the horns for? It is ground into a powder, which humans eat, thinking it will make them bigger and stronger, <laughs> which it won't. So the poor rhinos are killed for nothing. Not for nothing, Tommy. People pay a fortune for this worthless powder. So why are we going to catch a rhino, Harry? We're going to move one to an area with more food, because there are too many rhinos in this area and food is scarce. That must be the seaplane. Right on time. Good. You, sulfuric, get out there and fire a flare. Open it up. Let's see what we've got. It's a stone cucumber. It's not a stone cucumber. It's a horn. <laughs> it's broken, boss. Listen. No, you fool. A rhino horn. Oh, you mean only a rhino can play it. Idiot. Give it here. Sure, catch. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I've seen shrimps with more brains than you. Now look what you've done. Well, you've got plenty more in there. That's not the point. It looked pointed to me. You'll look pointed in a minute. Nail that crate back up. We'll be in the harbor soon. Okay, we've got the goods. So take us to your boss. Boss Hall, my careless friends. So you have at last arrived with our valuable cargo. But I am informed that owing to an accident, one of the valuable items in that crate is now at the bottom of the harbor. A great pity. So, my careless friends, here is your problem. The item is lost, therefore you must replace it, or regrettably you will be at the bottom of the honorable cover. Okay, kids, all aboard. Let's go and find us a rhino. Yeah, let's get a unicorn. 
Look, Harry, over there, a huge rhino. Wow, look at the size of those horns. Well done, Tommy. Now let's get in and have a closer look. We'll have to be careful, though. Rhinos are nervous, and if frightened, they're very dangerous. Oh, no! That's all we need. I must get the tranquilizer dots. Hold on tight, kids. Here he comes. Are you both okay? Yeah, but where's Seabird? Oh, he's still in there! Come back, Aura! No! I have to save him! Seabird! That was very brave, Aura. But what are we gonna do now? All the equipment's gone! I managed to grab the rifle and the tranquilizers, but I'm afraid we've lost our water supply. Where do we go? We walk that way and hope to find help. I knew it would be a disaster trusting you with those horns. How was I supposed to know what they were? Shut up! What's this? It's a plane! And you expect that to get us to Africa? Sure! You idiot! The only place that will take us is a hospital! Where'd you get it? From an old friend! Old? Who was he? Charles Lindbergh? Who's he? Never mind. How much did this garbage cost me? That's not garbage. She's a beauty. She cost the whole 25. 25 grand for this? Oh, no, boss. 25 dollars. Does it fly or are we driving there? Don't worry, boss. Just watch these engines go. See? Can't this thing go any faster? Hey, look! Down there, natives. Let's see if they're friendly. Good idea. Bad idea. Get out of here, quick! just land. If it wasn't for you, Brick Brain, we wouldn't be here in the first place. Now get that parachute on. Get out and keep track of that rhino. Go! Uh, has anyone seen my lunch sack? I found one like it, but this one's full of silk. Silk? That's what parachutes are made of. So what's that fool jumped out with, then? My lunch. Children, wake up. We're amongst friends. Well done, Siebert. Where are they going, Harry? I told the chief about our mission, and he sent some of his men to locate a rhino for us. Now all we have to do is wait for them to come back. But how are we going to capture a rhino? They're so strong. This is how. Look, I fit one of these into the rifle. And after he's hit, he'll have 20 minutes, then he'll sleep for hours. What's happening, Harry? The warriors had just camped down for the night when a monster from the sky found them. A saucer-shaped one with lights. A UFO! <laughs> I very much doubt it. Still, they obviously saw something. Tommy! Where's Siebert? He was here a minute ago. Look! There 
there he is. Let's go get him. Tommy, look! What's that? It's the UFO. The warriors were right. Quick, let's follow it. This is where it went. But I can't see it anywhere. Should we go back? Siebert says no. So on we go. But Tommy, if the UFO is real, it might be dangerous. Well, Tommy, wait for me! Tommy! Oh. Look out! Oh. What will happen to Tommy, Ara, and Siebert now? What is on board this UFO? Who is steering it, and where is it taking them? Will the children's good friend, Harry King, be able to find them? I don't know. I just don't know. Their tracks are here, all right, but they just vanished as though they've disappeared into thin air. No tire tracks or any other footprints. B -b Buana, it is Sky Monster which we saw. Sky Monster? Hmm. Let's assume you're right for a moment. I, I wonder, is it just a coincidence that we're in an area where rare rhinos live? No, I think not. Benjamin, I want you to find the rhino we saw yesterday. Yes, Bubuana, we find the rhino, but what about children? First, find the rhino, and then I think we'll find some answers to this puzzle. Come on! Us. I don't know. Let's shout for help again. Someone has to hear us. Help! help! Boss! Boss, over here! It's me, Sulfuric! Help! Help! <laughs> yeah! Move over, fellas! Let me out of here! <laughs> yeah! Hey, boss! What's all that smoke? What smoke? Where? Down there. Wait, I'll steer us closer. Here, give me those glasses. Help! Help! It's me, Sulfuric! Uh, what is it, boss? What's on fire? Nothing's on fire. It's dust. Dust? What caused it? A very rare and threatened species. What is it, boss? And what's threatening it? It's called an idiot, and I'm going to threaten it when I catch it. Now help me land this thing. Hey, Aura, we're going down. Tommy, look straight ahead in front of us. It's, it's a... Sulfuric. Why is he running towards us? Unless he knows this UFO isn't from outer space. I bet your Uncle Smokey's behind all this. Closer than that, Aura. I wouldn't be on top of it. Help! Help! Oh! Help! Oh! 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 Okay, you kids. You got the whole Earth to be on, so why on Earth do you have to be right here? Just where we are. We've got as much right to be here as you have. More, probably. Oh, yeah? Why's that, then? Because whatever you're up to can't be doing anyone any good. Wanna bet, kid? It's doing my bank balance a lot of good. Not yet it isn't. Now stop arguing. We've got work to do. What sort of work? You'll find out. So, the time is approaching for our friends to deliver the last item in our agreement. But what if they fail? If they fail, then the sharks will feed very well. And if they succeed? Ha! In that welcome event, I will be very happy, and the sharks will still feed well. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen, Tommy. I want you to tell me if you've seen any rhinos around here. Why? Never mind why. Just answer the question. No, we haven't seen any. 
Okay, we'll just see if you're telling the truth. I'm going to throw this seal into the water. Then we'll see if he can swim back before those crocodiles can catch him. Put him down! Hey! Come here, you! No! No! We have seen a rhino! Put him down! Good. That little joke worked. Here, I think this belongs to you. Just remember to cooperate or the crocodiles get a seafood supper. Hey, Smokey, the boat's ready. Good. You, Sulfuric, get in the boat. Why me? I want you to row downstream until you come to the sea. There you will wait until the boat arrives. You stall him for as long as you can while we catch the rhino. Now get going. But it must be at least 20 miles to the sea. Well, row quickly. Now get on with it. Hey, boss! A king-size rhino! Dead ahead! Ha! We didn't need you kids after all! Okay, Carbone. Prepare the net. Lower away! Quick, Carbone! More gas! Hooray! We got him! Okay, you kids. We don't need you, so you can go. Enjoy the walk. But you can't just put us out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yes, we can. Bye. Come on, Carbon. We've got a rendezvous. Go away! Aura, help me get some dry stick. If we start a fire, we'll be safe. Tommy, let's send smoke signals. Maybe Harry will see them. That's a great idea, Aura. But what can we use to fan the smoke with? <laughs> well done, Seabird. Benjamin, look! Smoke! No smoke signals. It must be the children. Hurry! You're safe. Oh, Harvey! Oh, you found us! Yes, thanks to your smoke signals. Harry, my Uncle Smokey and his gang have captured a rhino. And they've used a huge airship to hoist it off the ground. And they said they had work to do as they flew off. And there's something else. So Furek has gone down the river to meet with a boat. Hurry up, boss. I think I'm on their menu. Good. There's the river, and there's sulfuric. And there... is it? Yes, it is! There is the junk! Now take us down, Carbon. Have you got the hacksaw? Oh, sure, boss. Look. Good. We've got about half an hour to get ourselves a rhino horn, deliver it, and we'll all be rich! Base, there's something very odd going on. Base, we need some backup here. On the double, there appears to be an airship with a rhino under it. I'm going in to get a closer look. Boss, look! A game warden's plane. Blast! It's seen us. Get away! You're too close! Clear off! It's about time that the rhino is here. Kids, we might just be in time to save that rhino. Harry, look 
Look down there. The game warden's plane. It's landing next to the river. I see it. We'll go down and land next to it. Hey, warden, what's going on? Well, all's well that ends well. The villains have all been caught. The rhino is on his way to a new home, and you children are safe. What about him? That tranquilizer dart was meant for a rhino, so he'll wake up in about a week with a rhino-sized headache. <laughs> Our young friends have done it again. The rhinos are safe, and Smokey and his crew have been stopped. But what devious scoundrels will Tommy, Aura, and Seabird face next? <laughs>